What's going on, Jabronis? And welcome to another episode of Jabroni Sports. Hey, hey, all right. I like this show. Yeah, it's a good show. I think so. I think I think it's a good show, and it talks about basketball, and that's a good sport. Yeah, yeah. That's yes, one that's of my the favorite. best. The best of sports. But yeah. uh, thank you for tuning in. Tuning into a uh, Southwest Division preview of uh, Jabroni Sports. Wow, good division. I like yeah. this division. Yeah. I, I could take it or leave it. I mean, it, it can't really compare to our Southeast Division. Is that the one we did last time? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a great division. I can, I'll tell you, man. <laughs> you haven't lived until you've listened to our Southeast Division breakdown, okay? Or watch Southeast, Southeast Division like games all yeah, the time. Like, that's true. That's a treat that not many people get to do on a regular the basis. The best team was is the Magic, studs. They, studs. Won, they went eight seed, and they beat the Raptors on that last second yeah. shot that yeah. one time. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, were, and DJ Augustine's the man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They got a stud in DJ Augustine. Probably mm, future Hall of Famer on the verge. I would yeah. say. Okay, okay, guys, 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 guys. Quit, quit, quit making tonight's <laughs> show have such a tough job. Okay. Yeah, this yeah. one's You're be already, rough. You've already raised the stakes. I don't know if we can beat that. Oh, okay. Man. I don't know if we're good enough. But you know what? Hmm. We're gonna try. Damn it. Oh yeah, we're all right. Gonna give it the whole college try. We are guest free tonight. It's just your uh, your regular Jabroni boys here. So as always, I'm just the AJ. GF zone. Yeah, just 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 the Jabroni boys. Oh yeah, just Jabroni boys. I am guest AJ Firstenau. You can find me at AJ F U E R S T E N A U. Uh, you can find me online at It's Your Boy Gonzo. On I don't have one this week. Damn, I didn't think of one. Wow, wow, this is, wow. This is like, I know I'm kind of like letting the guys down, but yeah. like. I was I had other shit I was dealing with, so um, I'm just gonna say you can find me. On, it really um, takes you that long when you got stuff to do to think of something <laughs> that you're, no, you I could be a member of. I literally just forget sometimes. That I, I, you I, can like, literally I, look around the room. I uh, just, book club, I, find me on book club. Stock X. <laughs> no, that's Wal- personal. Walgreens.com. That's, oh, guys, come on. Check my retirement plan on no. yeah. Mutual Ch- Omaha. Charles Schwab. <laughs> Damn. You guys, stop. We got to give one out. All we, right. we got him on deck, bro. <laughs> All right, but you know what? You guys are just throwing ones out there. You don't actually have memberships to these places like I do. Either. Yes, I do. No. Every place I've mentioned, no, I got it. I don't believe that you have a Piggly Wiggly Club card. Yes, I do. You want to see it? <laughs> nope, I don't. I don't have it because I just give my phone number and they're like, hey, <laughs> I appreciate it. But, what, um, your phone number? Yeah, because then they get the things and then... Boom, I boom, just boom. downloaded the Travel Channel app. I have a username for that. I think you need a username. Well, right. I downloaded it at my dad's house because he wanted to watch Anthony Bourdain. Let's do... Uh, and they got it on the All right, the I will let the team down again. Um, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to say catch me on Yelp at It's Your Boy Gonzo. Okay. I'm on there. You can check out my food reviews. You can <laughs> check out some reviews I do of other things that mm-hmm. might mm-hmm. may or may not be food, but... Yeah, yeah and that's sure. where you can check me out. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Catch me at, at GBabyLaFleur on Twitter. I mean, if you want other social media, you can check out Iron Chef Chop Chop. There's, you know, there's like Reddit. There's, uh, you can see I got some Yelp reviews too. Yeah. <laughs> I got some Google reviews. Damn, I'm actually Damn you flexed it on me. This is yeah, bogus. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually considered. I won't let this happen again. I, I think <laughs> back it, of this notebook's going to be full. <laughs> I'm actually considered Kenosha Tour Guide because okay. uh, I have so many Kenosha restaurant uh, reviews. Are they all within a five mile radius of your house? <laughs> yeah, of course. Why would I leave from five miles away from? my house I, okay better question are they all within a two mile radius of your house there's not that many are there there's a lot i okay. mean we're <laughs> close to downtown that gets them all the way through like downtown okay okay and you guys have probably seen my movie reviews on imdb and on Rotten tomatoes some <laughs> probably of the, some of the best movie reviews I feel like you're just flexing on me right uh, now bro. What's, what's one of your most famous movie reviews um i would say my one for batman uh batman the dark knight uh, it was four out of five stars, and I said, "Would have got five stars if that broad with Dawson's Creek was still playing Rachel." <laughs> wow! Jeez! <laughs> <All right. laughs> wow! What, what about my one for uh, Jingle All the Way Two? Yeah. Oh, you guys no, see that please. one? Please, we've talked about it before on this show, I believe. Jingle All the Way Two. Yeah, it's 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 one of the worst movies of all oh, time. Oh yeah, huh? it, it features Santino from WWE and Larry the Barely Cable Guy. Barely features Santino. It is the worst movie you'll ever see. <laughs> the review is literally: if you're about to see this movie, don't. <laughs> and if you just watched this movie and are checking the reviews afterwards, I'm sorry. <laughs> you did this to yourself. You did that's it to it? yourself. That's all it is. That's basically it. So Jingle All the Way to not not getting a thumbs up. No, it's a nine. 
Okay, I'm, I guess I'm, Johnny's Johnny's our guest tonight. I think we're just yeah, going to yeah. interview him about his, I, his movie yeah, reviews. Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, hey, sometimes I'm a troll and like put a bad movie at like nine out of ten stars. <laughs> but you? this one, it was just I need to do the world a service and let them know: do not watch this movie. People shouldn't subject themselves to this. Do not watch Jingle All the Way Two with Larry the Cable Guy. Didn't you upload a clip to? I, I, maybe it was an IMDb where the guys like dancing on water in the one kung fu movie. What? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, it, I, well, it was in Hero, the Kung Fu movie. Yes. Where those guys flip it. Uh, nobody's going to get the reference, but some guy flips over like the surface of the water doing a Kung Fu move. And it's not even very graceful. He's like flying around at the top of the water going to attack the guy with his sword or something. And what is Juan? And what is that? What is the movie called? Hero. Hero. Jet Li. Jet Li. Okay, Jet Li's hero. That that's the scene you're referencing. It was yes. really bad. That scene. And the, the, good, the, the movie, movie was, was good. pretty good. Yeah, yeah the movie yeah. was good. But that but scene that was scene ridiculous. Was rough. <laughs> it's not as weird as the one Jackie Chan movie though, where he's peeing on ghosts. Where he's constantly peeing on ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's alarming. Yes, if you're if you're looking for old Jackie Chan movies, do not watch. Um, the hell was it even called spiritual kung fu i was like different because it got translated differently yeah, it got translated language. poorly i think in english it was spiritual kung fu which i thought was going to be like uh, like zen you know spiritual yeah but it was like spirits like ghosts yes, you were fighting and, spirits <laughs> yes and the ghosts were just guys with white powder and they, on were, them and and they were really out. small they were really small and then once they got so small jackie chan peed on them to uh <laughs> To scare him away. What? He peed at him. <laughs> so, Jackie Chan, him. so Jackie Chan was R. Kelly before R. Kelly? Is that no, what you're I mean, mean, these I mean, are he was, bad guys, yeah, though. He was painting on little, little white ghouls. So yeah. <laughs> that's okay. As long as, sentence is very close yeah. to something R. Kelly would do. Peeing on... Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh. All right, so remember last week when I promised to not, uh, to not be offensive? Yeah, we'll Wait, try. We'll, we can offend R. Kelly. We'll, we'll, Fuck that. We'll, yeah, he deserves it. We'll, yeah. we'll try again next week, though. We gave, right. we, we gave it a shot. This episode, yeah. fuck R. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> so our last bit of information before we do sports is do not watch Jackie Chan's Spiritual Kung Fu 1977, Ooh. I believe. Okay. Give him uh, one they can not, watch. It's not about spir- spiritual. It's about, like, ghouls and spirits. So just, don't... Right. And he pees on them. Don't watch yeah, that movie. Just, hey, people with white powder on so, their face. Yeah, so and, don't watch Jingle All the Way 2 and don't watch Spiritual Kung Fu by Jackie Chan. Yeah, give, give the people a movie they can't watch. Oh, from Jackie Chan? Yeah. Oh, jeez. There's yeah. There's so many. Uh, I would say Jackie's best movie is Legend of Drunken Master. That, okay. I would agree. Yep. I would yeah, agree. Yeah. Yep. But he's got so much material out there. You just look up Jackie and you got it. <laughs> I and mean, sometimes you wander in a movie about pissing on people, so that's, you yeah, got to be careful. That was early Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> he was still trying to figure out this movie business stuff. Early Jackie Chan is super hit or miss, actually. Because yeah, he, he, was. Was, he was just taking every role. Yeah, was, of course. He was just taking everything, and then he finally... Anyways, that's it for random movies and movies you shouldn't watch. Can we talk about little hoops? Yeah, Basketball? I mean, if you Basketball want, sure, sure. Nah, I want to keep going over this um, IMDb <laughs> ranking. Yeah, we can. We can. I, mean, we can I can do this all day. Okay. <laughs> but we do. We do. You know, suppose we do tag ourselves as a, as a as a sports podcast. I guess. Yeah, that's right. Our, our logo is like a basketball court. Yeah. So if we were just talking about IMDb reviews, IMDb, uh, IMDb, yeah. IMDmv <laughs> oh, reviews, no. IMDmv. Oh, no, Dave Matthews Band. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna dump poop off a bus. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, That's like the anniversary this it was week. Just the 15th anniversary <laughs> of him when, dumping poop into the Dave Chicago Matthews River. Jumped, dumped 800 pounds of shit on people. What? I didn't hear this. Story. Oh, dude, we're not starting the show. I guess. Hold on. Yeah, fuck it. He dumped poop in the Chicago River. Yeah, I yeah, never heard this. On like the tour bus. I don't they, know. Like, I don't follow Dave they, Matthews. Well, this was forever ago. It was a big story. Yeah, it was a big deal. So like yeah, they were at they were, they were by the Chicago River, and you know the toilet on the bus was was full, and as a bus toilet is known, uh, there's not really plumbing there. So uh, I mean you got you just kind of dump it, and uh, they just let her fly into the Chicago River, and it landed on like a boat of like people that were like sightseeing. <laughs> <laughs> it that really was their reaction. On my, on my yeah, no life. way this happened. He got sued. Yeah, yeah. It super happened. <laughs> it for sure happened. It bro. For sure. And it, this week marked the 15th anniversary of that event. Of Dave Matthews throwing shit. On of Dave Matthews dumping tourists. a near half ton of shit on human beings. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I wish I had a Dave Matthews band song to reference, but uh, oh, I got not my repertoire. You could say that that poop crashed into them. Uh, I believe would be would be a good one. And that's the only Dave Matthews song uh, I know. 
I, I could go. I could go deep if you yeah. boys want. I mean, I could. I, I now I could be here all day. Yeah, yeah. We we probably should talk about sports. All right, you say that, but if you guys keep bringing up fun stuff, I'm going to keep talking about it. I mean, we did talk about the Eastern Southeastern Conference Division already, even though we already did that one. That's true. The Southeast was so good that we talked about it in the Southwest. Yeah. So Southwest. Pfft. Southwest, you need to bring your A game today, buddy. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, <laughs> You, uh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. you guys, do you guys know who finished in last place in the uh, South? South I South actually do. So let Johnny guess. Uh, is, are the Suns in that division? Nope. nope. Um, so, jeez, oh, I don't even know. Do you want the teams? The Mavericks. That is correct. Yep. The Dallas ding, Mavericks ding. Uh, tied for last place uh, at thirty-three and forty-nine last season. Uh, they actually won a respectable twenty-four and seventeen at home. However, they only won nine road games in uh, Luka Doncic's first season. Yeah. Uh, the Mavericks. The Mavericks, I mean, they traded for Chris Stapp's Porzingis in season. Like, the Mavericks are a team with a lot of optimism heading into next year. Yes, I agree. Uh, the Mavericks are a team that I think a lot of people expect to take some sort of jump. The only problem is being in the West. I'm not sure people really know what that means. Right. Uh, I think a lot of optimism, not only just for next year, but for the future. If you got Doncic and Porzingis together, you just keep those guys together. Okay. You can find some guys. And am I the only one that thinks Porzingis could be a bum? Like he's hurt. I feel like every single year. Why am can, I? I don't think he can be a bum. I think he can get the, hurt again. The injury risk is significant. Yes. Like okay, not a bum, but like injury. Like I don't remember him playing a full season, and it's been his first four years. I feel so like feel like it should have happened, and I feel like that's an alarming thing, and I don't know if that's. Especially with big men, if that's a problem, you can correct and all of a sudden be like, we got it. Now we figured it out. He's going to be. F- I mean, I'm assuming the Knicks training staff sucks ass. But. <laughs> Pro- and the Mavs probably the have sucks. a great one. But, like, still, like, are they going to just super load management? Is he going to play 20 minutes a night during the regular season? Like, how do you. Like, I guess load management is the answer, but, like. It's I tough st- to load manage when you're not even in the playoffs. You, you got Well, you still can. Because they did it you, in Philly. You can load. Well, yeah, but they knew they weren't going to win. I think the Mavericks should try the to get Mavericks to the playoffs. The Mavericks know they're not going to win at all, though. Like, they're, well, they yeah, gotta build. but still, you want to get to the playoffs and start winning some games. Yeah. You're not well, just going to tank, tank the season like we're not going to play our guys. Not going to not play them, but you're going to play them load management. Kawhi Leonard. They were the, the Raptors were like a sure thing to be in the playoffs, so of course you can load manage. I'm saying if you're the Mavericks and you're on the verge of maybe making the playoffs, you can't load manage okay, anybody. But you're you not, gotta go. Are you going to make the playoffs if Chris Stops is hurt? I mean, if he's hurt by the end of the year. If he's, if he's hurt in January. Yeah, probably not. Okay, if he's hurt in February. Probably not. March. Maybe. Okay, so you're risking him and you... You say you could, so you can basically, you think you could maybe you get by load, two months. You can load manage, but you can't like load manage like they did Kawhi. You have or, to. Or LeBron. I, I, I think that you load manage more than they did with Kawhi. Yeah. You I, have I, to. And the number I had in my head is 57 games, is what I would try to get out of Perzingis in the regular season. I would have him play about two thirds of the games. And I think, like, because this isn't the year for them. This isn't like the go for it year. Like, this is try to figure out what you got. Like, if you can play, get around 60 games of curse taps, like, that should give you a pretty good idea of where you're at going into next season. Right? I mean, yeah, it, I would agree. I would agree 100%. Like, you have to. Because even if, even if you get him 60 games mm-hmm. and you're playing him every night, he's going to get hurt in the playoffs. And then once he gets hurt in the like, Well, I'm still saying give him some breaks. Like, a, back, a back-to-back game, maybe not just sit him, but have him play limited minutes. No, sit him. Yep. It's, I, it's, I agree. It's tough so when you got to win every game. But but you're not if you have to. But win if every you game, make it, it with, doesn't matter. If you make it without him, it doesn't matter. You're just going to be playing in the playoffs to play in the playoffs, and that doesn't matter you're gonna, you're if gonna you're be, not a full strength. You'll be one of those weird zombie teams that like don't like like the this year's, be, this year's Pacers. I was going to say Pistons. Yeah, is because uh, Blake Griffin though, was literally with, a zombie. Pacers without Oladipo, with one leg. Like as soon as Oladipo went yeah. down, it was over, and like we just had to watch like a eh, version of them in the but playoffs. But they tried really hard. They did, but they got swept by a mediocre Boston team. So yeah, like they were bad. They tried really. Yeah, but like if you get like making the playoffs isn't in and of itself an accomplishment. N- not to me. I. I would prefer like if I if I'm gonna be like an eight seed who gets my brains beat in in the first round, I'd rather be in the lottery. I'm just saying, um, load manage him. Of course, he's always injury risk, and he's coming off a big injury. 
But I wouldn't say you can load manage as much as the Andy's Spurs. coming off a big fight. <laughs> that doesn't know. That the, the fight doesn't count. Yeah, dude, he got his ass whooped in a fight. You didn't see that? No, what happened? He was like outside of a club, and like I don't know what happened. I shouldn't say he got his ass whooped, but like at the end of the clip, he's like his shirt's all ripped open, and he's like trying to fight, and like one dude's holding them back, and I'm just. I don't know. It's just and he was, uh, he, was, he, was also, he was also bloodied. Yeah, oh yeah, he was bloody too. Yeah, he was bleeding. So there was that as well. Well, I'd like to see the other guy to make a. <laughs> the other guys look fun. Oh, okay. To make to make a fair assessment. Yeah, exactly. I can't just look at one guy because you know some guy can run up close to him, rip his shirt, and yeah, but you, accidentally hit him in the nose. Why are you? Why are you even in situations like that? <laughs> Hold on. All right, let's let's get away from I don't, that. I yeah. don't know. I do in not Latvia. Know. Yeah, getting in was it in Latvia? Bar- yeah, in that's what you do in Latvia. You have some vodka. You have some fun. People get in fights. It happens. It shouldn't have been reported on. It was no big deal. <laughs> exactly. Everybody, everybody in Latvia was probably like, "Oh, what? I don't understand what is so bad about this." <laughs> But uh, the other reason that I think it doesn't really matter how much you rest Kirst Apps is that, like, I think we already know that he won't be Dallas's most important player. Oh, 100%. Like, Luka is, Luka has to be the best player on that team. Who's and, the third, though? I'm not there yet. Whoever the third. No, like, right now. Oh, right now? Who cares? Because I think there's a couple of guys that are at least interesting to be, <laughs> to potentially be, like, fourth or fifth. Who? I like Jalen Brunson. I Jalen Brunson's. A, I think Jalen Brunson is like a rotational guard. I think Jalen Brunson has a career as like an like eighth or ninth man, like good guard off the bench type. If guy. you get a good like, number, like a, th- like a Corey Joseph, maybe. I mm. I like. Ooh. That's uh, what. And Tim Hardaway Jr. Cool. is interesting. I don't think Tim Hardaway Jr. is very good at all. All right. Um. I mean, that's. I mean, he can get buckets. Tim sometimes. Hardaway Jr. is vastly overpaid. Do they even keep him? I think he's a free agent. Oh, I have no idea then. Yeah, I'll say Tim Hardaway Jr. He doesn't move the needle at all to me. Like, Tim Hardaway Jr. is, is a guy who puts up numbers and that's like points and that's it. What about Powell? Norman Powell's just a guy. No, mm-hmm. don't they have the they have Dwight oh, Powell? Dwight, Dwight Powell. Dwight, Dwight Powell. I'd say, Dwight uh, Powell's just a guy, though. I'd say Tim Hardaway's yeah. probably above average player, but... Mm. I would say he's... You don't pretty, think he could be the fourth on a team? Like a... No, not 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 like a good, good... No, I think if he... if I. I really like part of me. If he gets in the playoffs, you got. I think he would get exposed. All right. I think Tim Hardaway absolutely would get exposed. I think he would. You would be like, wow, he's like Evan Turner. I like, put he's him about in there. A, He's about at that level. Yeah. Uh, Tim Hardaway's a better shooter than Evan Turner. Yeah, but in terms of like impactful, like I think okay. that they're very similar. Yeah, I can see that. What about Maxi Kleber? Just he is. Hey, he is a fourteenth man. You know what though? <laughs> like, I, looking through two K's rosters today, he's onk. He's oh, a is he a hunk? Yeah, Max, 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 he's a hunk. hunk. Okay. Are we going to have to bring up a picture of him to Max. prove that he's a hunk? Or it, no, you, you I'll take I'll take your word for yeah, it. Yeah, you can Google Maxi. You, you can Google Maxi Claver if you at want to. At least in my two K, like when you, it, they had the pictures. So he's a handsome guy. He was a handsome fellow. Yeah. Do you do you ever put him on like the bench on like the last signing? Be like, you know, he's this guy's a good. I didn't know guy. he was a hunk. Oh, I, I've never really been interested in getting him on my team because I think he's overpaid. Don't. Aren't the pictures in 2K the animated? Only if they're on the wrong team. The, yeah. If they're on their original team it's, that when 2K came out, they were on. It's an actual picture. Yes. Because yes. they use, like, right. the the NBA, like, the day where they come and they're all smiling and everyone's doing high fives and they're the big three are taking pictures together. Yeah. They, That's not, the pictures they use. Big three aren't together anymore. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, guy. By the way, uh, going over the Mavericks roster real quick, I feel like you missed a couple very notable additions for their team this offseason. Maybe uh, my 2K <laughs> wasn't all the way updated. It might be. Uh, they tra- I remember this now. They traded for DeLon Wright, um, who I actually like quite a bit. I think DeLon Wright's a good combo guard. I don't think DeLon Wright's better than anyone I mentioned besides Maxi Kleber. Uh, I think he's I think he's better than, than and Tim Powell. Hardaway. And Powell. And uh, Seth Curry. Yeah, Seth Curry. But I'm saying in terms of like, like, because like, I think DeLon Wright's probably their starting point guard. You think so? Yeah. Pretty sure. Like, I think that's what he's there to do. Um, so, yeah. 2K had him listed as two, I'm just saying. So. I do not believe this team makes the playoffs. Nor no do way. I. No way. Um, I won't say no way. I, I think that this no, team... No, I mean, is a way, but I just yeah. don't see Przingis staying healthy. If Przingis stays healthy, they win. They're in. If not, they're not in. Yeah, because if like that's basically all it is for me. I think if you start off with a decent record, then you kind of play Porzingis. But if you start losing right away, you're right. Load manage it. Rest them a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I think Dallas. Dallas, like we said, they'll be fun. 
but I'm just not sure that it matters yet. Really, like this year is more about individual development than it is anything team wise. What do you want around them in order to get them over the hump? Get them. What's the third good player NBA basketball players? Uh, okay, that's what I want around that's them. The most generic answer you could. I give. want some good NBA players. What like positionally complements that though? I, I think. I think. Um, three and D. They need three and D. Yeah. I think a wing player, a wing for sure, yeah, mm-hmm. and a wing, and a wing, and a three and D are generally there's pretty good chance those two things overlap. Tony Snell, <laughs> no, they need a <laughs> much not. better player than Tony Snell oh, for, to fill they, that spot. They need a lot better, yeah, yeah. Hey, they, we got to follow from Snell season, so we got to make sure that is true. That is true. No, <laughs> it's Snell insane. season. It's just yeah. a Twitter account. Oh. But Snell season is following, so I'll, I'll always appreciate appreciate the follow. So mm-hmm. thank yeah. you. Um, but yeah, I think I, I would say Dallas is probably like this year's like. 10th seed in the, in the West feels about right. Something around there, 10 11. Yep. The, uh, I could see him winning about 40, 42 games, something like that. Um, 35, I would I, say. I don't think Przingis stays healthy, so I'll say like 32. Last year's team won 33. You think they're worse than last year? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? All right. I, do, I do not. I, was I, gonna say, gonna I thought you said better. they won 24. No, they're 33 and 49. They're oh. 24 and 17 at home. They had a, win- oh, okay, they had a winning okay. record at home. I think they're going to be um, fun and interesting, but yeah, I not guess thirty five. Thirty five is fair. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'd, say, I'd, I'd be very surprised if they won fewer games than last season. Um, but the other team in that division that won thirty three games last season is the New Orleans Pelicans. Oh, <laughs> so um, you would have assumed prior to this off season that if we were doing a you know Pelicans recap and we were talking about the loss of Anthony Davis, that we were going to be talking about a pretty grim Pelicans team. Hell no. That would, have, that would have felt like a safe assumption. That is not the case. Um, this Pelicans team is super fun. Mm-hmm. Winning the lottery kind of helped. Uh, well, you know, a little bit. They got, what's, Jesus what's that? Sorry. <laughs> I blow my ears off. Yeah. What, what's Sorry. that noise? Sorry. Uh, uh, they got that one guy, um, Zion. What's they, his name? They got Zion. Never heard of him. Zion. Right? Uh, so that's pretty cool. I mean, and in that trade, they didn't exactly get nothing. Uh, Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram, uh, Josh Hart. They got a lot, actually. It's a, a ton of firsts. If they would have got Kuzma, it would have put him over the top. That would have been. It would have definitely made it a smash success. But I think it's safe to say that David Griffin has done a fantastic job in mm-hmm. his first few months as the GM of the Pelicans. Let's oh. let's not get it twisted. That same trade was on the table before he was there, and he lucked into the first pick of the draft. So it's not like he completely. Um, orchestrated this. He but you know got the, lucky. You know the difference, though. He took the trade. Yeah. So <laughs> Del, Dem- Del Demps did not. So Del Demps is an idiot, and he doesn't have a job now. So didn't wasn't they getting offered Kuzma in the trade before? I, he might. They may have been. But yeah, needless to say, Del Demps uh, not did not make the right decision. Doing nothing. Uh, nobody liked that. The, the, <laughs> nobody aw- likes the, this. the awkward half season of Anthony Davis starting and playing twenty minutes a game. Like that was terrible. Yes, that was a definitely weird, very weird season for the Pelicans. Yes. Weird. But, but uh, yeah, Lonzo Ball, I mean, Drew Holiday still there in the backcourt. Uh, they went out and they signed J.J. Redick. Uh, they have they have a lot, like, they have a lot of shooting to go around Zion as they, well. They got watch this, too. Oh, Etuan Moore? Yeah. yeah. But, like, and their rookies look good in Summer League. Nikhil Alexander-Walker looked good. Like, Didi Silva looked good. Like, they signed Derek Favors, which I think was a low key great move. Wait, 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 wait. I was I have a question about Favors. Unless you want to keep rattling off. I, know, I just had one more though. I, I like their their center situation is I mean Jaleel Okafor played much better last season. Yeah, he did. And Jackson Hayes, the rookie that they drafted as well, had a great summer. I don't understand how it's Jackson with an X. Jackson with an X. But yeah, Jackson Hayes looks like Because he's fucking extreme, bro. He just he looks like your classic like rim protecting, rebounding, like springy big. And this team is a ton of fun. Like all of a sudden New Orleans has like they, they like they had Anthony Davis, but I feel like the future is more exciting for them now than it was really at any point during the Anthony Davis tenure. As I weird think as that everybody knew that they were not going to get somebody around Anthony Davis, and so when they had that run in the playoffs, I think it was last year. Yeah, when they made the second round. Yeah, everybody was like, "Yeah, it's probably their ceiling," <laughs> and it was, and it was. Um, so, but it, it feels like, yeah, it just it feels more hopeful now. Like, there's the chance that, like, because it's early. The Zion thing is just starting. I love <laughs> this team. 
Me they, too. The, not yeah. only are they all young, How can they're you all not? pretty good, and they all fit. If you don't love this team, like you, I, I don't want to be around you. Like you don't like basketball. You don't love life. This team is going to be so much fun, and like you said, it's a good fit. Mm-hmm. They have a team that makes sense. It's not just a bunch of random young guys. Like wow, these are good players. They have players that fit together. It shouldn't be this far along this quickly. As long as they get this athletic rim protecting big, like you said, Jax is. Uh, <laughs> You gotta, you gotta throw, throw up the axe. Yeah. 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 If you're if you're listening to us, yeah, yeah. throw up which, the axe. Which please. you are, which yeah. you are listening to us right now. I throw up the axe with my arms. So make sure you do that when Jax is on the floor. Uh, this Light it up. When he's, when, he's, when he's at the line, toss up the axe. Toss up the axes. Uh, when Woo! he comes in the game, if you're a Pelicans fan, make sure you throw that throw up that axe like yep. Jax. <laughs> That's how you make the axe noise. Just go <laughs> Jax. It's hard to do an extended axe. You know, I don't even think you can. No, it doesn't work. I think it's like you just you can't. No, that's what that's what people. I think that's what people tune in for is some of the grammatical breakdowns that we do. (laughs) We're great at it. I think it's terrible. I think I think that's what people are interested in. All right, one big question I have though, I like the favor signing, but does the favor signing matter when they're good? Probably not, but I think it's a good. He's a good guy to just have around while you're becoming good. Like, I don't think there's a downside to having a guy who can play the four or the five and is, like, a solid big with playoff experience and is, like, pretty well respected around the league. I don't see it. Like, he's the type of guy that you want around young guys. Like, Derek yeah. Favors is a vet at this point. For sure. So, like, when you sign Derek Favors... So you kind of paid him to be a good influence. Yeah, like, Derek okay. Favors, he's there to, like... And, like, he's good at, like, traditional big man play, so maybe, like, he can teach some things to the young guys who are more of, like... The you know the new wave like spread the floor shoot threes like type of bigs maybe Derek Favors can kind of give them a little bit of like the old school to blend with that and I, th- I think there's value but like he's still a good player is he yeah. kind of the same as Jaleel no Jaleel's different Jaleel's Jaleel's bigger Jaleel also too. plays much worse defense like Derek Favors is a much more solid defender than Jaleel yeah. Okafor but Jaleel's okay. like longer and more athletic yeah yeah I, I, I'm I saying kind of. Old school down low scores. Okay, in terms of like how they do their scoring, oh, Jaleel, yeah, how, sh- how they shoot. do the scoring. What do you mean? They're, they're similar scorers. Yeah. Yes, I'll that's say, what I was okay, saying. Okay, okay, yeah, I'll go with that. Like I'll say, once you get outside of that, their games differ a fair amount. But yeah, I can get behind that. Um, All right, JJ Redick is going to be such a great fit on this team. Race He's ass. going to get so many wide open threes. It's going to be crazy. Uh, Lonzo Ball is going to throw so many alley oops to Zion. It's going to be crazy. Can Lonzo learn how to shoot? Is that going to be? He's working addressed? on it. Give him right. some time. The thing is, for this team, like none of that, like there's a ton of questions. Like none of them really matter right now. Yeah. Right. Like like they can like I don't know. Is Brandon Ingram like actually good? Yeah, that was another question I had. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. I he's got. I think I he think gets he better. Every, what, he's going to get better every year. I think he is what he is. He's no, I think he he's got so much potential. If he can just hit that shot, like he's Magic Randolph, but a rich man's version I of who? Th- Magic Randolph. Anthony Randolph. You don't remember him? He was supposed to be good for every, like every year. It was like this is the guy. I have, oh yeah, Anthony Randolph. <laughs> so I'll say this: I have way more hope for Brandon Ingram than I do for Andrew Wiggins. Yes, That's right. I agree. I think Brandon Ingram has a way better chance at being a star than than Andrew Wiggins. Does. When you're that Brandon tall, in- he, Brandon Ingram is still 21. Yeah, like he's still crazy young. When you're True. that tall and that long, and you can basically shoot over anybody, and you are a shooter, you can only get better of a shooter and you'll still be able to jump over people shoot it over him and he still hasn't even like filled out he's not even like he doesn't even have like like a man's body yet no it, you know? it seems like he's still just he's got the rookie, he's, still, he's, he's still wiry yeah. he still has like that build so like it's not as if he can't like get bigger and stronger and faster mm-hmm. and like just become a better but it's athlete. like his fourth year in the league why isn't any of he's going these into things... his going into his fourth year that's what i mean yeah. yeah but like why haven't any of these things happened like well, it just feels like he's stagnant I think he's been on a bad team. I'll say the Lakers player development in general has been pretty spotty, I would say. Like, yeah. What, what's their, like, shining example of, like, developing a success at this point? Mm-hmm. Like, jo- Josh Hart saying, Josh Hart looked good initially and then just kind of stayed there. Like, Lonzo Ball looked good initially. Like, the Lakers didn't develop any of these guys. No. So, like, the hope is, if you're New Orleans, like, that it's the Lakers' fault. Yeah. This, this, like, if the Lakers, if the Lakers' development staff is as bad as we think it might be, this trade could end up being great for New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, I just 
it's going to be. I think this is a, this is a huge season though for Brandon Ingram. Yeah, he Making has no to mis- prove it this year. Yeah. I want him to, and I think he can, but like he has to. It's also just huge for him because he's going to go into restricted free agency this off season. Yep, and we've seen the difference that this year can have. This is the difference between being a guy who gets maxed out versus potentially being in like a Jabari Parker situation Oof. where you're getting one more contract with real money and then teams are going to give you a one-year deal. Like yeah. it, I could like in two years, Brandon Ingram could be Michael Beasley. He could be like, uh, he, like that. That's a good that's scorer a, like, in China. Like I said, I think Brandon Ingram will figure it out, but we have to acknowledge that there's like a very real chance that a guy who was a number two pick and was very, very highly regarded might not be good at all. No. Like so, that's like might turn into an Andrew Wiggins. Is it is it too early to count out Andrew Andrew Wiggins or can we? I I am very AJ I, is yes I am no I am comfortably saying Andrew Wiggins is done in terms of like actually ever mattering. I don't. But we're not talking about the the T Wolves no the Timber that, Rattlers no, right and, now. That's the, another episode. And Andrew Wiggins is a discussion for a different time. Who um, do you guys project the starting point guard on this team? Lonzo, Lonzo Ball. Ball over Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday will start at the two. Where will JJ? Off the he bench. won't start. JJ will be a, a, a two or a three off the bench. Yeah. All right. Or maybe have. Drew coming. JJ Reddick's probably playing a lot of backup three on this team, also because they have no other small forwards besides Brandon Ingram. Uh, yeah, I guess if Zion plays the four, unless you trust Isaac Bonga to play minutes for you. Josh Hart can play. You'd play say, the three. I'd say he's more of a two than a th- like he's more. He could play the one more than he could play the three. Josh Hart's pretty undersized to play the three. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it matters if you got. Yeah, Josh Hart's only six five. Six, yeah. f- six five. You can play the three. It's six five. The three. How long is he? Six five two fifteen. Two fifteen's a bit a bit small for, for the three. three. Yeah. But how long is he? What's his wingspan? I mean, but how I many? Have no t- idea. It doesn't show wing. That's the most. No. Im- that's more important than height. How do you? How are you on a website that does not show wingspan? <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Also, what, what website shows wingspan? <laughs> yeah, like it's most? one of the main stats. Like, hold on. Um, also, the, another thing for the Pelicans that I think, like, we can say a ton of like, this is their lineup. Like, it's we don't know. We're fucking making shit up. Yeah, they're gonna have more lineup combinations than any team in the league. Yeah. There's so many guys that are like they have 14 guys that should see minutes. Okay, so here we go: Lonzo Ball, Frank Jackson, Drew Holiday, Etwan Moore, Nikhil Alexander Walker, Darius Bertans, the shooting guard they signed from Europe, Josh Hart, Brandon Ingram, JJ Redick, Isaac Bonga, who I mentioned, don't think he'll actually play, but yeah, Didi Silva, Kenrich Williams, Darius Miller played at times for them last season. He can shoot. Zion yeah. Williamson, Derek Favors, Jaleel Okafor, and Jackson Hayes. You really That's think a Frank's going to get guys run? that are going to play? Uh, back up point. Why not? I don't know because if Drew plays and Lonzo plays point, I mean, what do you mean? Those are your two point guards. Well, yeah, but then Frank. I mean, like I said, but if Drew's, I if Drew's starting at the two, you're still. Gonna I really a, think you need a third guard. I really think Drew should be the starting point guard on this team. If I'm being honest, like let Lonzo run with the second team. No, because if you're on the second team, you have to be more of a scorer, and uh, Lonzo La- is a passer. Which, well, when you have your starters out there, you want a passer but, there. All right, but are we going to lie to ourselves and say Drew isn't the best player on this team right now? You think Drew's going to be on that team throughout this whole season? Because I, I think don't, maybe not. Ready. But I'm looking. I have to look at it right now. I can't. He probably is the best player, I would say. Yeah, but, um, I th- but I think Lonzo is their point guard of the future, and I think that's yeah. what they're looking at. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Drew's that's kind why, of in that's the past. Then Drew, Drew, Drew. They're, they're going pretty, to, but probably will. Yeah, they're going to. But well, I mean, everyone got traded this yeah. offseason. Should have traded Drew. But like Drew, like if Drew's playing out of position, they don't really care. Is how I think. That's how I look at it. Yeah, like, it's not like let's feed the ball to Drew right now. It's like let's feed the ball to everybody. Drew will Drew, get his. Drew will help. Yeah. Us, Drew will help us win games right now. Yes, which is fine. Because this is a team, I I think this team is actually more likely to make the playoffs than Dallas for sure. Yeah, uh, I, I think this. They team, have more room for error. I think this is your. I think this team's right on the edge. I think this is like your eight or nine seed. I think that they're going to be like sneaky good, sneaky fast. I think they're going to be right on the cusp or just miss out. You know what? This about this team really pisses me off. What JJ Redick? See, I love this team so much. They sound so fun, but New Orleans. They have the ugliest jerseys oh, in the man. league. Yeah. I fucking hate the Pelican mascot. I man. hate it. I want to love this team. I want them to have like they need a rebranding. something cool. They need no. to rebrand. Their, I colors, want them. their color scheme is so whack for being it's, New Orleans. Yeah, it's, it's like dark blue and red and, and gold. And gold. It's yep. like, no, I hate it. It's I hate so, it. Like, you're New Orleans. It should be fun. Yeah. It's the they, worst. And Pelican, like, 
Why? Why would you it's be so, a Pelican? Hey, I'm, so okay, I'm okay with Pelican. Those jerseys are so trash. Oh, and man. their mascot is ass. Both of them. He's scary as hell because he's... Wait, are you shit. talking about King Baby? Yeah, or are you talking b- about... Both of their mascots the Pelican. are horrifying. The Pelican, I was talking about. Did you ever about. see the baby who walked around in... Uh, like a giant baby that walked around with a diaper? King Cake Baby. Yeah, King oh. Cake Baby. Oh. That was legit one of their mascots. Is a giant... Fucking baby that walked around in a diaper. That is weird. But Pierre, it's super weird. Pierre has been terrifying in every single one of because they've tried to make they, him less yeah. scary, but he's still terrifying. Make him look like Big Bird. How hard is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> With a bigger mouth. Yeah. yeah, that's it. That's all you got to do. They need to change the colors, man. I hate it so much, and I want to like this team. What is? Why isn't it purple and yellow? That's the green. Lakers. Purple, yellow, and green. Yep, exactly. Like they're, when they do their when they do their Mardi Gras. Yeah, uniforms. the Mardi Gras. That should be their fucking colors. That would be so much better, and you could like play off of it, like because you could change. Mardi Gras is purple, yep. yellow, and green. Dude, they Come should on. be. They should be. And gold. you could just be purple and yellow most of the time. Yeah, play off the of LSU, who's huge in the area already. Like. Or or you could be I mean you could be green and yellow well, yeah or, but you could change green you could, and purple I don't care but because you could change what the like third color quote unquote was you could you could have so many uniforms where you played with that you yeah. have you'd have three main colors but you'd only ever feature two of them in a jersey and you'd never have black yep. or white jerseys yep. I'd, I'd or, love to or see or even them. worse the brown and dark blue basically because that's what their gold looks like on, on their jersey the gold it plays like brown. So it looks like their jerseys are like brown and navy, and it's terrible. I'd, I'd really like to see them do um, a color combination that do- isn't done really in the NBA. Maybe I'm wrong. The black and gold, kind of like um, Golden like, Knights, like a Steelers esque. No, not that yellow. More black and gold, like um, Golden Knights. Purdue. Okay. Okay. Are you, am I, you yeah, already and you're close. Yeah, pretty, pretty uh, close. A, a big thing is the the Saints. Black and gold. Yep, very similar. Yeah, I kind of like the black and that's gold. F- that's fine too. That just, would be better. I don't need navy blue and red. brown and no, red. Just, just basically they're dis- anything. They're, they're a disaster. You can just throw like puke colors yeah, out there. Like I, like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't expect to get into NBA fashion tonight, but I'm glad we did because it needed to be said. That's it's really. They should have never lost the name from the Jazz. The Jazz should have to take a new fucking name. Yeah, they should. Utah. Yeah. You know it's bad. Utah water. It should be like the Soul or something. Could, yeah, New maybe. Orleans Soul. Like, <sighs> write that down. New Orleans jerseys are so bad. They're, like their red jersey sucks, but it's like one of their best jerseys that they wear in a regular. They don't basis. even have throwbacks. No, it's because so, the Hornets have their history. Yeah, I'm not saying they don't have a history. How can you have a throw like those any, Nola, Nola jerseys where it's got like ten colors? Dun, 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 I, dun, dun, they, dun, they, it doesn't you. really do it for me. They're yeah. better. It's, they're they're tr- better, but they're still the eh, jerseys maybe, are, are trash. Better? But I like the coloring. I'm also not a big fan of it's like fun. of like the little fun. the little name like of the city just being on like a quarter of the jersey. I don't really like that. No. Um. Whenever they do, like, I just keep 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 it simple to yeah. a, to an extent. Like, no, I don't know. No joke. When Zion first went there and they got the trade, I was like, "Oh, this team's exciting." Yep. Oh no, I hate the Pelicans jerseys. I gotta look. I at have those. to watch. The, I'm gonna watch Wait. this team, and I have to watch the Pelicans Wait. jerseys. What's Are they sneak, secretly doing a rebranding? They have to. Like, think about. That's what I thought the first time. You got to rebrand this team. It's a the, whole different team. Who's the biggest free a, or biggest rookie? Like Zion's the biggest rookie since LeBron. LeBron got a rebranding, and Melo got a rebranding. Like he's a, and they got a whole bunch of new players besides yeah. Zion. It's, it's, Their whole team. It's, that a, was, it's a new team. Yeah, the two, two the team two years ago that won a playoff series. That is not it's, the it's team. It's Drew Holiday that's yeah. left, basically. Yeah, that is not them anymore. They got to rebrand. Yeah, I agree. Glad we um, talked about this. I'm glad people agree with me, me too. On this. I'm really. I'm glad we got to talk about it. Um, we always agree on NBA fashion. So before we head to the break, any last thoughts on the Pelicans, boys? Uh, By the way, uh, last quick thought for me: Pelicans uh, easily a top three league pass team. If it's yes. a, a team that you would get league pass for, Pelicans are in the top three. Yeah, I would have, but I oh. can't look at those jerseys all year. So number one, number one league pass team. Number one. The, the only the only reason they might not be number one for me it's the jerseys, <laughs> and then their home games are dead as shit. Their home games are lifeless. Those crowds are those, awful. Their home games are going to do a lot better. I hope so. But those are the only reasons that they might they might not be number one for me. What else can they be like if they rebranded? What do you mean? Like, like I, I came up with Soul as a name? They Soul? have to reclaim their rightful ownership of the name Jazz. They're not going to do What about it. New Orleans Voodoo? No. <laughs> voodoo. No. <laughs> I, I, I'm too scary they, for kids. <laughs> that would be scary, but I'd, I'd like that. That'd yeah. be cool. But you're or little adult. skeletons sometimes. Yeah. Like, uh, no, that'd be cool. The New Orleans Crawdads. 
Crawdaddies. Crawdaddies. The old Crawdaddies. The Crawdaddies. I can get by. Cross. We'll discuss. We got to play the Cross tonight. <laughs> we, will, uh, we'll, we will discuss some more New Orleans related nicknames over the break. <laughs> and we will see the best one when we get back, Jabronis. All right. Catch you on the other side. You're listening to Jabroni Sports. Sports. Uh, oh, wait, no, no, we only do that at the beginning. Oh, we yeah. do it after yeah, the break. what are you guys doing? Come on, this yeah. is just the break. We were excited to be back from the break after that riveting commercial, though. That's yeah, true. You, I swear to God, I listened to the last episode, too, and we still didn't have a sponsor. You guys told me that during this break, we're going to have an advertisement. Uh, I, we no, we're we, showcasing. This is, you could be here. We should have played like a, oh, we can do, we can edit it back in. We'll play like a little, do, 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 not like. Literally, the Jeopardy song, but we'll say this. this, No, it'll uh, just be Johnny doing that. (laughs) This spot is for sale. Please contact us at jabronisports at gmail.com to buy this advertising spot. I like it, Johnny. Yeah, right? I mean, even if we don't do that, I mean, just contact us at jabronisports at gmail.com. Yeah, I think, is it Jabroni Sports, Jabroni e- underscore? I, oh, man, the goddamn underscore. We never know. We, we never I know. know. We're going to find out once Because Jabroni all. Sports is taken, so we have to put an <laughs> underscore in somewhere. We, have an we used to have it, like, after Jabroni Sports or underscore. Is, or is it Twitter <laughs> that's Jabroni underscore I think Twitter our, is Jabroni underscore sports. I'm, like, 99% Okay, sure. what about our Gmail? I'm working on it. Okay. This computer sucks. Okay. Pay us so we can get a real computer, please. <laughs> There's no need to raise your voice, okay? We're desperate. We don't have a computer. We're doing this. We are actually doing this with tin cans and pieces of string. Yes. Okay. I'm recording it on an eight track. I gotta spin the fucking shit. Um, we are jabroni at um at, at. this. That's Twitter. Our G, our internet Gmail is at <laughs> what? It's at. I gotta give the address. How do you our, say our, at? Our internet Gmail. You don't say at. You <laughs> just say jabroni sports at jabroni. Gmail. Yeah, Jabroni go. Sports at gmail.com. There you go. There, 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 email email us. Email us. We'd love to hear if you have any questions or if you're listening to the show, you can just give us some show ideas for next show even. Always. We appreciate any any sort of feedback, yeah. okay? We're all about the engagement. Or right. you can hit us up on Twitter at Jabroni underscore sports. Or you can slide in our DMs, which we give you the info for at the beginning. You should be writing this shit down. Yeah, I think I think we've advertised ourselves enough. sufficiently. Yeah. All so. right. Well, uh, let's advertise an NBA team. Yeah, let's advertise uh, basketball in Memphis these days because that's who we're talking about next. Right. We said we we're going to come back with more names for the Pelicans. Are we just going to? No. We, what did you have the the dogs? The mud, oh, dogs. The mud dogs. The mud dogs. The mud dogs. The mud dogs. Like in Waterboy. Yeah. Mud, mud dogs. Mud dogs. We're going mud dogs. I, 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 I'm, in, I'm totally in favor of the. I'd actually would. The, I think I'd prefer that color scheme too. <laughs> <laughs> like, Isn't that like the Florida Gators color yeah, scheme? Yeah, it's, it's, it's blue and orange. No, no doubt. But I mean, hey, whatever. It's fine. And we canceled out the hurricanes, right? Or, yeah, we said hurricanes. We have okay. to wait 200 years for that. That's the rule. Okay, yeah, 200 years. We're like Chicago close. Fire. Like Chicago yeah, Chicago Fire. fire. Wait, yeah. what about, like, uh, what's the hockey team that's a hurricane? Uh, Carolina. 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 Yeah. Didn't they get ravaged by one? Isn't that why they're called the hurricane? No, they didn't really get New Orleans ravaged by <laughs> No, exactly. Well, I mean, few yeah. have. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So it's a Houston, tougher subject. Houston. Houston's got it pretty similarly. but Yeah, uh, they have. But, yeah, not, not, not many places can claim that uh, that level of destruction. Speaking of destruction, what about Jared Jackson Jr. on the uh, on the low block this year, guys? Okay, maybe not the smoothest of transitions. Uh, that was rough. Yeah, but <laughs> you, guys, you, guys, you, guys, you guys, you guys didn't give me a very easy path back to basketball. <laughs> you could have waited. I, yeah, I, we would have got there. I, 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 I could have waited. Me and Johnny know what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, we're hosts. We're yeah, you guys are hosts. I'm sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't steer your hosts. Um, That's why we get paid the big bucks. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We're on a Windows XP over here. <laughs> <laughs> Probably be better if we were, actually. It's Windows 10, okay? it's just Yeah, but it can't, it, the computer can't handle it. I've got, like, 0.5 gigs of RAM in there, so. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> That's there's, flexible. pretty good. It's there's, pretty like, good. six sticks sitting on top all of the those, desk. Okay, so there's one gig of RAM, and those are all... Not very much RAM. <laughs> not, not a ton of RAM. You up need there. at least eight gigs nowadays. Asked and answered. Yep. Asked and answered. There you go. So, uh, as for the Memphis Grizzlies, the Memphis Grizzlies are pretty similar to the first two teams we discussed. Uh, they are a young, fun team. 
not a team necessarily that is prioritizing winning in the present. Mm -hmm. Uh, The biggest thing that happened for Memphis was a pleasant surprise of jumping up to number two in the lottery. Mm -hmm. Uh, They got John Morant as the prize there. Not bad. Uh, And it seemed they officially... They essentially officially essentially said goodbye to the grit and grind era this past season. Yeah. R.I.P. R- rest in peace to grit and grind. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the trades of Mike Conley and Marcus All, that was it. Those were the last the last remnants of grit and grind. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, it, never forget Zebo. Honestly, it was a great era of basketball for me. It was. I well, loved yeah. that that Grizzlies team. Yeah, yeah that it was Grizzlies, an awesome team. It was fantastic. Let's yeah. make sure this team doesn't rebrand after changing their team. I like the Grizzlies logo. I like their colors. I'm a fan of the Grizzlies. You know what? I Look. agree. I agree. Thanks. Uh, I do like that they're bringing back the Vancouver throwback. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're doing that this season. I'm a big fan of that look. Um, they're also bringing Sexy back. I've heard that. I've did, heard that. Did they, I, are they going to bring Sexy back? Yeah. Mark they, Soul's coming back. Oh, you heard it here first. N- no. He, if he does, then they are bringing Sexy back. But. <laughs> that, that is the definition. Mark Gasol equals Sexy. Yeah, exactly. That's A lot of people know that, yeah. Um, and then he would come out to Sexy Back by JT. And then, Marcus, <laughs> Marcus all I'm bringing Sexy Back. And then he gets out there and does a little dance. <laughs> I'd, I'd pay to see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. I'd, I'd pay at least $4. Um, at least. As I said, Memphis is a team with a lot of a lot of youth. Uh, they One of their big signings this offseason was Tyus Jones. Um, so their, their backcourt seems pretty set for the, 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 the future here. Uh, looks like John Morant and Tyus Jones will be their options there. Uh, a lot of question marks at the two guard. I, th- I think Dylan Brooks is probably the guy there returning off of his injury last season. Yeah. Uh, not great. This team still has Andre Iguodala on its roster, which is weird. Confusing. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like that's – like, I don't think that's something that he's – does he start the season there? Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess. At this point, yeah, yeah, trade him at the deadline when a team needs him. Okay, I think out of the three young teams in this division, oh, keep going, keep describing this. Okay, uh, they, <laughs> they they traded for Josh Jackson this off season, mm-hmm. who's a, a so far kind of a bust, but it's I think it's a guy still worth taking a shot on for basically nothing. Yeah, my hey, fault. I'm still not going to forget how he stiffed uh, James Jones in the grocery store, though. How he didn't show up to the autograph signing, and James Jones just had to buy everyone alcohol. That's true, yeah. I do not know this. He story. just opened up his credit card and started paying for beer and booze for anyone who came into the grocery store. Yeah, because Josh Jackson was supposed to show up to do an autograph signing in Phoenix, and he did not show up, and James Jones was there, the GM. Uh, so to compensate the people that showed up for the autograph that wasn't going to happen, he just started buying people booze. I'd take that over an autograph. <laughs> from Josh Jackson? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Line was out the door. Um, <laughs> <laughs> kind of quickly here, finishing up a, a few more notable uh, Grizzlies. Jay Crowder is now a Grizzly, uh, kind of a, a solid vet. Uh, Bruno Caboclo has, has actually improved and I think worked himself into a rotational NBA player perhaps. Wow. Yep, I did not think that would be possible, but I think we might be there. Uh, Brandon Clark, the Summer League MVP. And this team also technically has Dwight Howard on it still as well. Wow, that's taking them over the edge. This team's probably going... <laughs> All the and, way with and Blake. you skipped over Jonas Valanciunas. I was, I was gonna get. I was gonna get there. I was gonna say though, even if healthy, I don't think Dwight Howard is a starting center on this team. Don't forget it. Yeah, don't forget about Jonas. I think Jonas Valanciunas. If hurt too, I think he's not that's, starting center. That's also but true. That's a hot take. But yeah, uh, I don't think healthy Dwight would start anywhere. Not at this point. No. Jonas Valanciunas though, back on a very reasonable contract, three year, forty five million dollar deal with Memphis. It's about what. So he's you worth. move it, right? So you move it. Yeah. I mean, I guess like if he's twenty eight, is he that old? Yeah, Jonas Valanciunas is twenty eight. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna yeah, yeah. twenty seven. But I yeah. don't think he's really anything to be excited about. I think he's like a down low scorer who's can kind of score down low, and not he, really. He's not, not really a good defender. Yeah, exactly. Not a rim protector. He's just a guy. He's just a he, big big guy down there. You know, he's better than Enos Cantor, but they're similar. Um. He's I, he, he I put Cantor. him right on par with Cantor. Yeah, it's about it's not yeah, it's not far off. I, I think it doesn't matter for Memphis because I'm pretty sure that Jaron Jackson plays the center ultimately. Yeah, I don't think Jonas being on the team matters at all because yeah. they're not going to matter. And in... exactly, I don't think I don't think it matters right now. 
if he's there. Like they, I mean, if they trade him, they find if you, but if you don't get anything good for him, just wait. Who cares? Wait till he has two years left on his deal or becomes a, or when, once he's an expiring contract, he's for sure movable. Yeah, this is a nice young team, but I still think they're they're obviously one more player to build around. Short or eventually I would say, getting that. I would say two. I yeah, think, two probably. I think they're, because they're, if you get one, you got a big three though. The, but their two and their three right now are just. Ugh. Yeah, like there's just so much bad in their in their two and their three slot that like it's hard to envision them getting one guy that that makes it all better. And we're just we're kind of just assuming that Ja and Jackson have big steps, and Ja's actually like Ja's good. It's, he is good. the first assumption. No, yeah, I'm saying exactly. It's the first yeah, assumption. yeah. Because we have Jaron Jackson Jr. We've seen for a year, so there's more reason to believe that he a is good and b therefore will continue to to develop. Yeah, John, we, we haven't seen. We don't actually know if John's good. I mean, lots of people compared Andrew Wiggins to LeBron James. Yep. So he was Maple Jordan. Mm-hmm. You know, like that's it's. <laughs> I'm just saying these are these are things that get thrown about. So like, for, with Memphis, there's a lot more. I need to see it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Brandon Clark, really good in summer league. Let's see how that looks against real NBA teams. Mm-hmm. There, for Memphis, there's a lot of I need to see it, but there's also I want to see it. Like, I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm I want to see it. Yeah. I want to see Jackson and Morant do really well. Uh, and if they do work out, like if they do work out like they're supposed to, they're still short a player yep. too. They so. still need another. Otherwise, I think that they kind of cap out as as grit and grind part two, where it's just <laughs> yeah. like Conley and Gasol again, except it'd be like if it was Conley and Zebo till the bitter end this time. You know, it just like it feels like well, if they hit their ceiling, but they don't get anything else, like the they'll be they'll be like a second round team again. <laughs> like that's pretty yeah. much what they'll, they'll be right and back where they isn't started. Isn't that really the ce- the ceiling of any team in Memphis? <laughs> in the West, it's a ceiling of a lot of teams. True. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean. In the, in the West, you can be a second round team and be a really good team. Like you could, you could be a pretty damn solid squad. You're not, you're not beating the Clippers. Like you're not. Oh, you're, no. Like I'm sorry, you're not beating the Lakers. Probably. Like there's just, it's tough. Uh, but like, like, like we said, it, there's reasons to watch. There's reasons to be encouraged. And and I hope that I hope that John and Triple J have like good chemistry. That the one thing that we've noticed, at least I've noticed, like watching this team. They like each other. Yeah, they're they're like, fun. It's mm-hmm. it's a young team. The guys all seem to genuinely like each other. I think that they'll have good chemistry. Um, I think that their on on court and off court interactions are, are going to be good, and I, I think that's important for a young team. Um, they won't have Jimmy Butler, you know, cussing him out and challenging him to games of one on one. Why not? <laughs> Stuff like I that. I think he's going to show up. <laughs> you know, not that not that anything like that would have ever happened for a different team. But, uh, yeah, for Memphis, I'm going to say Memphis is the least likely of any of the teams we've discussed today to make the playoffs. Yes. I got Memphis at the bottom of my, of my uh, Southwest Division rankings. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's close. I mean, this is, those three teams all finished tied last year. Right. And I, I wouldn't be shocked if those three teams finished within five games of each other this year. No. And the other teams, well, I want to rate that Memphis is probably going to be the worst team in this division. Agreed. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah. Probably. Um, and out of the three young teams that are in that division... Like the three up and coming teams, I'd put them like the worst future. Not a bad future, but the lowest future out of all those three teams. Okay. Because I think the Mavericks have a good future with, I think that uh, Doncic, obviously already better than both those guys. Yeah. And Porzingis, obviously better than their entire team. So I think they probably have second best future, number one future being the Pelicans. But like we said, we don't know. We already know Zion's going to be good. I like agree. I, I just I just can't look past Chris Kristaps. I just don't see him being healthy, so I don't see him, him mattering down the road. If he does, I, I I look at it as Luca on his own. You would have said the same thing about Joel Embiid three years ago, though. Sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, sure. there's examples of it. You know, of, of it. Going it works both way. ways, but for I mean, sure. Just saying, you got you have to see it to believe it. Yeah, essentially, prove it. Um, so let's get into the kind of the blue bloods of the division here, as it were. Um, blue bloods, the bluest of the blue bloods. The We're going San- away from the young bloods and going to the b- going blue, to the bloods. blue bloods. Yes, beginning the blue bloods portion of the Southwest is the San Antonio Spurs, mm. coached by the timeless Greg Popovich, um, coming off of one of the most baffling Game Seven losses of all time, at least in terms of like the end game of that game, like. Oh my the, god! The, the, the Spurs. What the fuck? The Spurs season Jeez. ended. You remember that? In the strange. Okay, the Spurs season ended with Ooh. Denver getting an offensive rebound up by two with like 14 seconds left, 
and then San Antonio just not following, and the game. Oh yeah, it it ended with Greg Popovich screaming at them to foul, and nobody listening, (laughs) and then the game ending. Yep. (laughs) It was, honest to God, one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. And Not was, as weird as JR and Cleveland in the finals. That was up there. It That's was, probably the worst. It was up there. Also, no, because I expect that from JR. <laughs> also, I don't expect that from Popovich coach teams. Exactly. That's why it was shocking. It was like, holy shit. And it was a pop team, and LaMarcus Aldridge is on the court. Like You had vets out there that have like been in it like that should know better. It was just like a collective just brain fart of five guys at once. Like Patty Mills didn't follow. Like, nobody... Nobody knew to foul. Like, it just, I don't understand it. Um, so I'm sure that left a bad taste in their mouths. Uh, mm-hmm. But <sighs> Greg Popovich did a hell of a job with that team in the first place. Let's be honest. Yeah, he did. Uh, the Spurs the Spurs guard situation is crazy to me every year. Every year I'm like, the Spurs don't got anybody. And, and then he's got a couple. <laughs> yep, and then Deontay Murray or Derek White or Bryn Forbes or Lonnie Walker – like, one of those guys is going to be really good this year, and we're going to be like, oh, fucking duh. I'm going with Lonnie Walker. Lonnie Walker this year will be really good of that I group. I think he's going to break out. I, uh, man, like, Derek White was really good last year, but I think Deontay Murray is their starting point guard. I think so. I think they're, like, so all of a sudden, is their point guard situation, like, a strength? Does it? Did it go from no, like? No, not yet. No, okay. not compared. That's the strongest position in the NBA. Okay. okay. Speaking of, just quick sidebar. Um, I change who I'm picking for MVP. Okay, who do you got? I'm going Dame. Damian Lillard. I forgot. I looked it up. I forgot that Steph had won it twice, so I don't think he can win it three times. So I'm going to go Damian Lillard. That's going to be. I'm going to stick to it. It's a solid choice. Yeah. Weird thing to bring up right now. Yeah, I just thought about those things. <laughs> <laughs> we won't. I I can't wait till we get to the Blazers. I will talk about Dame's MVP chances and how that pertains to. Uh, Johnny perhaps owing me a chunk of change down the road. So, I'll throw, what, what was my bet? I'll throw I'll throw that teaser out there. We'll uh, we'll discuss that when we Forgot get to the Blazers. That bet, but we'll get we there. will discuss that off air. Um, one thing that I really like about the Spurs is that the Spurs are like the Spurs are like raging against the evolution of basketball. The Spurs are like, no, we can't we're going to shoot, shoot long twos because it's all we've got. <laughs> and their like, two well, best players are he's, excellent at sure. <laughs> Good like, long two shooters. Like LaMarcus Aldridge is out there like doing the like, poof, and then the fadeaway like long 20-foot two-pointer. And, and DeMar but, DeRozan's getting well, open can, off screens oh, at the top of the lane. Like oh, DeMar DeRozan <laughs> comes off of more screens that are set at the elbow of the free throw line than any guy in the league. <laughs> yep. oh, hey, let's, give, let's throw some respect on Aldridge. He can hit threes now. Yeah, that's not what he wants to do. Yeah, but they, I mean, and they got Rudy Gay back. It's dude, this team loves long twos. Loves them. This, and they also love threes. They just don't make them. <laughs> no, they're, they're they're young guards, dude. Those are the guys that yeah, shoot them. Yeah. The young yeah. guards get to like launch ten of them a game and have the time of their lives. And Patty Mills. Oh yeah, Patty Mills. I mean, he's that's he's always been doing it though. Patty Mills sometimes their best player. It's confusing. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. Like this, that's team. the Spurs, though. You never know who's going to be the best. Yeah, player. but Patty Mills consistently. You're like, is Patty Mills this good? How many times, I, like a season, do you ask yourself, like watching a Spurs game, like, is Patty Mills really good? Is he actually good? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think if you put Patty Mills on a different team, he'd he be, sucks. I don't know, sucks, he's, but he wouldn't he's a be... backup point guard at best. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think, and yeah. he's proved on the Spurs that he can be like a starting caliber NBA point guard. But on any other team, I don't think it would work. I there's been lots of there's been players who have played for the Spurs and even started and then never played on another team. Uh, Not well, never, but a, never were as good. A player that comes to mind is Thiago Splitter. Mm. Like whatever happened, he played on the Spurs. He was okay. He started. You saw him, and then he was played he, on another team though. He sucked and disappeared. Did he, did yes. he really play on another team, or was he just on another team? <laughs> what about? I have I, to check basketball reference. <laughs> what about the uh, the late career resurgence of Boris Diaw? Oh, Boris, Boris Diaw! Boris yes. Diaw didn't matter for like six years in between. Like, and then all he, he got went to, to Charlotte and he gave yep, up, and then he got to San Antonio and he could guard LeBron, and he was checking LeBron <laughs> in the finals. I was <laughs> like, "What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what universe am I in?" Where Boris Diaw was like, "Yo, I'm the fucking man. <laughs> I'm checking LeBron. He ain't shit. I'm keeping up with him. He ain't stronger than me." I'm like, "What is Boris? No. Boris Diaw is incredible. <laughs> man, Boris was crafty. He yeah. was crafty on those teams. I yeah. think that was the last finals where LeBron was like, "I'm really gonna." play defense after that he's just like man fuck this i can only play one end like i'll get it together i gotta pick one <laughs> yeah the spurs and then the, the spurs always have like spursy vets too like 
Marco Bellinelli is still on this team. Yep. Uh, they went out and they signed Damari Carroll. Nice. Uh, like, it's just... It's just... It feels right. Everything about the Spurs team feels... It, it's a It feels team. like the Spurs. Yep, it feels like the Spurs. I'm going to watch a game in the middle of, uh, like, February, and I'm going to be like, what year is it? <laughs> I'm not going to know if it's, like, 1998 or 2020. I'm going to have no idea. As long as it's the Spurs involved, that yeah, absolutely. Um... Their 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 front court's kind of a mess, if I'm being honest. Uh, Jakob Pertl did not really show a whole lot last season. I, I I had higher hopes for him as one of the pieces in the uh, Kawhi Leonard deal. Uh, Trey Lyles, they're taking a flyer on, but I don't I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Luka Samanich is their is their first round pick. I don't I don't think he's ready to produce right away. It'll be. It's gonna. It, there's a lot of. It's gonna be a lot falling on Lamarcus Aldridge again. I think. I think Lyles is gonna show out. Trey Lyles. Bit. Yeah. I think. <sighs> Dude, I think going there. I mean, why don't they call up uh, Splitter or Diaw? They because <laughs> they're forty six years old. Did you see Diaw riding the jet ski? No. Oh wait, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Bo- Boris. Boris got a belly. Yeah. How, how he always had a belly. How yeah. old is Boris? I don't know. Forty five. Do you want to yell to Google? Four, in the I other don't room? think he's forty five. He's probably like thirty eight. <laughs> No way! I think he oh. played till he was like 38. Yeah. Hmm. Get on it. Get on it. All right. Um, Spurs Spurs feel like, as we were talking earlier, Spurs feel like one of those second-round ceiling teams. Yeah, for sure. But I think they're going to make playoffs, I believe. Yeah, I do too. Because the Spurs, it doesn't matter. Like, the Spurs aren't like, well, if this guy gets hurt, they're done. That doesn't matter. It, until the Spurs don't make the playoffs, I'm going to keep saying they're going to make the playoffs. Otherwise, Where is DL's 37? See, I told wow, you. Wow, young guy. Good for How him. old is Tiago Splitter? Man, that's going to be hard to find. Thirty-four. <laughs> nice. That was, I told you, call him up. That was not hard to find at all. Um, Tony Parker, thirty-seven. All right, we can't just call. go through the ages of old Spurs. Udonis Haslam. No, he's still playing, and he's on the Heat. I know. I want to see if Johnny knows. Thirty-seven, thirty-six, thirty-nine. Oh, nice. oh wow! Good for him. Good for yeah. Good for you, guys. <laughs> good for him. I want to get him on the podcast one day. That's my dream. I don't think he'll come. Does anybody else have any thoughts on the Spurs here? Uh, like I said, um, can Pop win another one? No. No, no like, not with this team. No, 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 no. Just the question is out there. What do you mean? Is it possible before Pop retires for him to win another one? Ah, he's retiring in two, three years, maybe one. Don't, I don't believe so. He's doing USA Basketball and stuff this year, though. Like, Doesn't mean you're staying. I don't think he has anything else. And a consultant. He'll probably stay within the Spurs organization, but like not Tim as head Duncan, coach. who won't fucking leave. <laughs> yeah, he's probably gonna make Timmy's probably gonna be the head coach. Maybe, yeah. Pop's gonna hand the reins over to Tim in like three years. <laughs> oh man, I support it. Yeah, I say I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. Um, the main reason I say no is that I don't think there's any chance that Popovich ever coaches anywhere besides San Antonio, mm-hmm. and I don't think the Spurs will be ready to win a title within the next three to five years. Um, so to yeah, me, agree. To exactly. Me, to me, to me, it's a pretty safe no. I agree. Anything else? Um, I believe that Demarcus or Demarcus, I'm sorry, Lamar- Lamarcus. Oh, see, it's and tough I'm sorry, Lamarcus and um, DeRozan. DeRozan are both free agents at the end of the season. So Demarcus, so Demarcus is a free agent at the end of the season. Lam- Lamarcus and Lamar- Demarcus. No, Demarcus. Both of them are. Yeah, if it's if it's Demar and Lamarcus, it's Demarcus. Oh, remember okay, was, I get remember, it. I get it. Remember now. when it was like Lamarcus Aldridge? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Lamarcus yeah, Aldridge. This is Demarcus. Okay. Yeah. Demarcus, De- Demarcus, De- De- Aldridge. They'll probably resign both. They'll probably resign both of them. <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked by that. Like, uh, what else they got going? I feel like the Spurs. I've, heard, I've been hearing that Lamarcus Aldridge wants to go back to Portland. I can see it. Well, if they offer him, is he restricted or unrestricted? Obvi- obviously unrestricted. Yeah, he'd have to be. He's yeah, old. Yeah, I was gonna say. There's no way he's a restricted free agent when he's 34 years old. I mean, maybe he goes, but. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he moves the needle at this point in his career anymore no. either. But still a good player. Good player. Still yeah, an yeah. effective player. Right. So, with that being said, that's the Spurs. Let's move on. So, yeah. I think playoffs. 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 playoffs? May, maybe win a series. Yeah. So, the last team in the in the Southwest Division, the Houston Rockets. Mm. All right. So, they got Russ. Cool. That's pretty neat. That is, that is pretty neat. That's yeah, a I, really big upgrade. It is neat, yeah. It is all right. Neat. We all agree it's neat. Yeah, I think it's pretty neat. All right, cool. Um, otherwise, yeah, pretty much the same team coming back here. Uh, a little nervous. Oh, actually, I got a spoiler for after this. So, spoiler? Not a spoiler, but just some oh. fun, fun little chatter. 
Okay, okay. Then I'll kind of delve back into this, but... I, I, I have said that, to me, Houston is, is a team that I think can win a championship, and I, I stand by that. I believe that, like, it's the same issues they've always had. Mm-hmm. Their shooting is going to be hit or miss. It's a D'Antoni team. They're going to launch a lot of threes. Um, it's a backcourt dominant team. You don't you don't have a lot of depth. Um, but that being said, their best is going to be as good as anyone's best this year. All the other teams have kind of come back to them a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like they improved slightly in an off season where a lot of other teams got significantly worse. Uh, I, I think. I think the Clippers are, are still probably a better team in a seven-game series, but I can see a scenario where Houston Houston can beat anyone, mm-hmm. more or less. Like, Houston can win a championship. I, Houston, I, I never thought Houston could until now. Okay, I didn't think Chris Paul was good enough. I uh, Again, I just always thought Chris Paul would be hurt, and I think Russell Westbrook is so much better of a ball player that it will just... I, I just think it's going to be so much easier. I think he'll work better with Harden as well, and I just think it's a better fit, in mm-hmm. my opinion, than CP3. I, I said this on one of our previous podcasts, that it's just so hard to determine how well they're going to be because you don't know how well they're going to mesh. If this team meshes and maybe pick up one player before the trade deadline that fits the team, they could be the best team in the league if everything meshes correctly. But well, it, you, got two, it, you got two isoball players. That's fine. That's, you just switch every other possession. That's what they but, did. But, with, but, but that's why it wouldn't. If you're asking for reasons why it wouldn't work, that's number one right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you said that it's a better fit, it's still not a great fit. No. It's it's a, it's a worse fit than Chris Paul. It's an, even. It's, no, I'm saying no, no. You just agreed. What do you because mean? Because I'm saying it's a better fit than Chris Paul. And no, I'm like, saying yeah. You no. Say, you say no. No, no. I'm saying that Russell Westbrook, obviously a better player, is probably a worse fit on that team than Chris was. Oh, I disagree. I think I would I would tend. To, I, the reason I think that the fit might be worse is because he doesn't shoot threes. Yes. That's literally the only reason. Yeah. Because in the D'Antoni system, it's space and launch threes. Mm-hmm. And if Russ is shooting 28% on threes and putting up eight of them a game, that's not super helpful. Like, that's not – their their offense isn't really based on guys, like, going to the rim and attacking a ton. Like, it's, it's drawing fouls, but that's not necessarily the same thing. Mm-hmm. Like, the way that Harden draws fouls isn't really, like, attacking the rim, if we're being honest. Mm-hmm. Like, in theory, that's what he's doing, but he's also kind of gaming the system to get the fouls. Like, Harden's but, not absorbing hard contact on most of his free throw attempts that he earns. But you don't think Westbrook is going to pick up that style of offense as well pretty easily? Why hasn't he? Because that's not... Uh, come on, because it's Russ. Russ has to go 110% all the time. But exactly. And he can't... He doesn't want to, like, show weakness or be, like, getting free throws. Russ what, doesn't want free throws. What is the offense, though? James Harden, iso ball, and kick. Like, it's either James, you have so the ball... So it's Russell Westbrook, iso, and kick. Exactly. It's either James, you have the ball, or Russ, you have the ball. Yeah. It's the same thing it's been. Um, and Russ... It's been showed that Russ... Even when Russ and KD, it was still, you get the ball... I get the ball. It didn't work out. He never really meshed until he had his own they team. Almost, they, they almost beat the Warriors and made it to the finals. I mean, like, they were right there. They were they were a game away. They're, I know, but they up, had a... Up, so up you can't tell me it they, didn't work. They had a stacked team, top to bottom. And year. at this point in time, I would probably say Clint Capella is a better player than Serge was. That's pretty fair. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I could... It's on the fence, but yeah, I'd, I'd probably Serge, give Serge Capella. Serge was really good. He was really yeah, good, but was. I think Clint Capella is really, really good. Yeah, I'd, I'd, and Clint Capella, P.J. Tucker, um, Eric who, Gordon, Eric Gordon, yeah. Austin Rivers doesn't do much, but yeah, <laughs> doesn't do much for me, but yeah, I can see it. Yeah, he's he's out there. I don't, I don't, I don't like him. Is not like the other. <laughs> I don't like him at all. I just wanted to see your reaction. Yeah. It got real quiet. Like, Austin Rivers was like. Hmm. I don't. Have, I don't have the roster. No, he's not bad. Um, he can. He can play some games. You know, <laughs> he's a good yeah. regular season guy to have. Yeah. He. I. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Trevor Rees is gone. Uh, who do you got, AJ? Uh, who feels that Trevor? I mean, even though Trevor Rees has been gone for two years now. Yeah. But he, he was is, helping. He is, but, but he is still gone. He is still gone. I, is can't, I can't argue that. Um, other guys of note, perhaps, uh, Amon Shumpert is still there. Ooh. Uh, this isn't really of note, but it is. Anthony Bennett signed with them this offseason. Oh, yeah, Ooh. big tone. Hey, speaking of which, did you see who the Bucks were working out with? Dragon, well, they, they signed Dragon Bender. 
Yeah, that's old news. Okay. Who the new one is. No. They're giving Hashim to beat a shot. Oh. Yeah. 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 Wow, that would be awesome, actually, if he signed with their G League team. <laughs> yeah, I uh, would go up to see Eric's I, game. I, I'd go watch Hashim. Yeah. He's, he's tall. <laughs> he's he's a big guy. You he's can't a big teach guy. That. And it'd be, up, it'd be up close and personal, too. There's not a ton of seats in the uh, Oshkosh. Yeah, yeah, I'd get to really yeah. see how tall he was. You just yeah. get folding chairs around the, Pretty the, good. the arena or the uh, court there. It's, I like. Nice. I made that up. I don't even know. Nice. They probably got. They probably. They got, got, got the high seats. school bleachers. Yeah, they got yeah, the high school <laughs> bleachers that retract. <laughs> they yeah. go back into the wall when they're done because <laughs> sure. they got to have a dance group come in later, and then they have the the arts and crafts fair the next weekend. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> it's probably going to be Oshkosh's. Of course, it's going to be their main attraction. They're going to have everything in that arena. And then there's an air show the next weekend. <laughs> They got the Blue Angels coming in. <laughs> oh, shit. So what we're saying is go watch Hashim Tabit and the Blue Angels this offseason yeah. in Oshkosh. Yeah. Every poor event that comes to Oshkosh is going to be held at that arena. Yeah. So, of course, they need to put Unless the Unless it's the back. air show. Yeah, the they air can't show. fit air, airplanes in no, there. No, the air show doesn't And that's a pretty it. big thing there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The air show's a big deal. That's yeah. I People that talk is. about it. I've never went. I was gonna probably say, never will. It's a real thing, though. It's, but people, yeah. oh, shoot, look at the air show. Yep. But when they get events that are like super, like, D to F level events, like Leroy Butler coming in, doing an autograph signing, Fuck doing an autograph Butler. signing, you know it's going to be in that in that building. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, other other guys of, of potential note. This is like I said. I mean, their their depth issues have always been there. Uh, Dan Wellhouse Jr., <laughs> Gerald Green, nice. Uh, PJ Tucker. I don't mind Gerald yeah. Green. I like and, Gerald Green. Yeah, and Gerald too. Green's either hot or he's not. Yeah. yeah. If he's not hot, get him out. Uh, Kenneth Fareed and nice. Miss Nene, which seems a little redundant. No, you can trick people. Uh, <laughs> believe it or not, this will be Nene's 17th NBA season. No, I wow. believe it. This next year. Wow. He played with, like, Ricky Mello, I think. Uh, he's not the longest tenured player on the Rockets, though, because that honor goes to Tyson Chandler, who I forgot signed wow. there. Tyson Chandler will be play- giving you some backup center minutes. Starting. Why does... No, not ahead of Clint Capella. Clint at the four. Why? <laughs> Never. Run them Twin Towers, baby. <laughs> Baby, um, why do people keep paying Tyson Chandler money? Because he's a good defensive center. Is he? Not at this point. I was going to say, is he still? Tyson's a good locker room guy. Tyson's this, fun. Tyson's... This just reminds me of like when Kenyon Martin kept getting signed by teams. No. No, it's not like that. Okay. Kenyon Martin got pissed off when they put popcorn in his car. Kenyon Martin is not chill. Like, come I mean, on, man. Tyson's That's not... still Tyson... a big guy who can protect the rim somewhat. He can, and I'm sure he's teaching the young guys something. He did all right at the Lakers. Is he entering the Jawan Howard phase of his career? Yeah, for sure. Where he's basically on the team to be a mentor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we said it earlier with somebody like. Yeah. Well, you said it with Derek Favors. Derek Favors wasn't quite the same thing. But it's, but I mean, it's a similar situation. I, like, I think, Tyson, I think Derek Favors is a lot younger than. I, th- I think Derek but Favors at is, their peak, they were like. Tyson Chandler was a better player, though. Oh yeah, sure. Tyson yeah. Chandler was great when those, he was. Those in days his peak. are those days are long gone. Uh, yeah. So what I was saying about this team is, I think they're one. Like I said, one pickup before the trade deadline to fill that three spot, like a solid three and D guy, like Trevor Ariza used to be. And he could, Trevor. I'm not. I'm not just going to consider Trevor Ariza a three and D guy. He could slash two, but oh yeah, a solid three and D guy to fill out that team. Did and Trevor if they Re- mesh, they could be the best team in the league. Did Trevor Ariza play with T Mac? I have no idea. All right. Um, sorry, I lost. Uh, yeah, that, that that question yeah, threw me off. I was, uh, wasn't expecting it. Uh, oh, okay, I got it back. Um, <laughs> glad we could be Google for Gonzo. Um, <laughs> Google didn't answer me. That's why. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my thought was with this team in particular, something that in recent years has, happens a lot, and I think they will need to do a very good job is being uh, people players on the buyout market. Like when you have the tr- trade deadline, and then there's like the vets that are on teams that don't make sense, and they get released. Mm-hmm. Like scooping those guys up for the vet minimum, and like that's. I mean, it's a nice way to supplement your rotation. Mm-hmm. If yeah. you, I, I, Why didn't they do it this last year? Well, I th- I don't think that they were necessarily like as desirable of a destination. I think people thought mm-hmm. that they were. Like, they started bad last year. Like if you remember, the Rockets were like yeah, five and did. twelve or something. Like yeah, early on, went. like the Rockets weren't very good. No. And then once Chris and, Paul got out of the way, and like nobody, like nobody actually thought last year was it for the Rockets. Like it didn't. It just never no, felt for like sure. they were. So like, I think they're a much more desirable location this season. So I, I think like, I would want like I don't. I mean, I guess I'd still probably choose one of the LA teams if they come calling. Mm-hmm. But Houston's in that next group. They just signing like. Buyout like vet, vet men's not going to do it. You need a 
solid three and D guy. How do you get there then? Yeah, what how do you do, trade? How do you, do you make trade that Eric happen? Gordon? Yeah. You gotta trade something. Who can they trade? I Eric know, Gordon. I'm to think is it? Yeah, but he makes yeah, too much money. You can't get rid of Eric Gordon. I guess it would have to be why somebody who goes there, but still good. Why can't I feel like Eric Gordon's the perfect guy to get rid of? I, Eric Gordon's he's off the bench, you know, whatever. Who else, in, who else like, can score on the bench? Trevor Ariza. He's not on the Tre- team. Trevor Ariza's not, <laughs> not on the team. Trevor Ariza's not on the team. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> thought you said Trevor Ariza. Are, are you doing all right over there, buddy? I thought Johnny talked about Trevor Why do you got Trevor Ariza on the brain so Dude, oh, he's just a rocket Dude, did Michael for me. Jordan ever play with Trevor Ariza? I just want to know Trevor Ariza's teammate. He's not on this goddamn John, team. Johnny okay? brought up Trevor Ariza. Yeah, but you haven't let it go. That's not, don't blame saying. Johnny for your mistakes. What I'm no, saying. No, Johnny, Johnny brought up Trevor Ariza. That doesn't say. excuse you for I saying thought Trevor he, Ariza. I thought he was on the team. No, you didn't. We I said was he in, wasn't. Yeah. We told you he was not. Three. I am saying this that. is where, and this is the part in the show where we're going to rewind the tape and we're going to go to Johnny saying <laughs> Trevor Reese is not on the Rockets literally three minutes ago, and then play the thing that Gonzo just. I said. think Johnny's fucking with this. Trevor Reese is on the Rockets. Jesus fucking Christ! What I was saying is they need a fit like Trevor Reese a fit onto that team two years ago. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. They need another Trevor Reese. But what I'm trying to say is you need. You need to give up an asset to make that happen. I mean, you got no you got Eric Gordon. No one is just going to be like, here, take this solid player. <laughs> he why don't some, they just get the question? Why is, don't they just trade for Anthony Davis? Why don't they just get Trevor Ariza back? <laughs> they should. They well, should I think they should trade for Anthony Davis <laughs> and get Trevor Ariza back and well, LeBron. Then they're a championship. Cont- well, with LeBron, it's over. Come on, yeah. Get real. You got Trevor Ariza and LeBron. <laughs> Game set match and Anthony Davis. <laughs> Checkmate <Whatever>. atheists. <laughs> Yeah, not but, interested. Uh, I, I I think we're agreeing that they need one guy to, to solidify that position, and you do have to go through people who that man basically. I think they could find somebody. Like I'm getting to, they just re- need to get Trevor Ariza back on that team. Basically, long story short, please sign Trevor Ariza. <laughs> yeah, or trade for him. I guess you'd have to trade for him. Yeah, he's give under him contract. Give him Kenneth Reed. People still think we he's need- good. We need Trevor Ariza give back him, on the Rockets. Give him Kenneth Fareed and an A. Two for one. There no. You go. It's, no. What? we got to pull twin magic with those guys. we got to. <laughs> Wait, uh, where, is, it, is Trevor Ariza still on the Suns? Yeah. Maybe, All right. yeah. Yeah, you can fool the Suns. <laughs> yeah, the Suns. <laughs> what? yeah, they can trade anybody no, for Trevor. They can it, just ask for him uh, and they'll probably give him to him. Is he still on the Suns? Is he not? I don't know. I, I thought he might have gotten traded again. but Yeah, uh, I think he got traded. That's... It, who can never be sure? Yeah. <laughs> who's ever sure who's, who's on the Suns I mean, at any given year? God, when do we have to talk about the Suns? That's going to be depressing. We haven't done it already? No. I think we shit on the Suns more than we shit on the Knicks. This was the first time we've talked He's about... on the Kings. Okay. 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 All right. Um, Making oh, way yeah. too much money. Well, I mean, as luck would have it, we are going to talk about uh, the Kings and the Suns next week Woo-hoo. as we break down the uh, Pacific Division. Hey, so are we, we'll talk, are we we'll done get, with the we'll Rockets? Because i got a question for everyone. Yeah. Go ahead. Have you guys looked at the Team USA roster? Um, yeah, not oh too good. Oh, my God. We it's, were talking about this last episode, weren't we? I know. We're giving an update. But it's only gotten worse. <laughs> if you're not paying attention, Team USA needs help, guys. I'm not kidding. All right, this is a call to arms. Melo yeah. has to come back. Do you know Melo has back. a bronze? I looked it up today. He was on the bronze team? Yeah. So he could have had another gold yep. if we didn't lose the like Puerto Rico or whatever we did. Puerto Rico and... Um, we were third. That was bronze. Like, like Greece? No, it was like... Was it Brazil? Argentina? Argentina. Maybe. That, uh, Argentina uh, Lithu- won- did, did Lithuania beat him? I don't no. know. But Argentina won, the gold. Argentina won the gold that year. I know that because that was Argentina's golden generation. That's why. Because if you win one gold medal, like you're the shit. Th- what about Spain? Might, it might have been Spain, but I don't think it was. I don't think Spain ever beat us. God damn it. I'm sorry. I, we should I, just set up OK Google to our other mic and just have Google <laughs> as our guest and just keep asking it questions. Oh, no, it's a whole different podcast we do on Thursday nights. <laughs> that's true. I'm pretty sure that team lost to, like, it was like Puerto Rico. They lost to Puerto Rico for sure. I remember that. And I, I want to say it was Argentina. I'm I, working on it. That's I say it's probably, probably, I mean, what do you just... It's not that hard to find. You just Google. No. So one. how how is this year's? Uh, How's this, your squad shaping up? Yeah. Uh, do you like a team where Miles Turner is the best player? Mm, yes. Okay. Then you might like this year's uh, USA basketball team. Yeah, I, I think it's, do it's, not like that. Mm-hmm. 
I think it's good. I mean, you're going to probably have a bunch of young guys, right? They should, might as well just go for college players if they're going to do that. <laughs> the, best, I mean, the, the best player was going to be Kyle Lowry, but he got hurt. Uh, so Kyle Lowry doesn't look like he's going to play now either. And Marvin Bagley recently Me, meanwhile, dropped out. Bledsoe can't even get an invite. Eric Bledsoe is still <laughs> Eric Bledsoe is sitting by the phone waiting every day for the call from from USA Basketball, and it will not happen. Uh, the Colangelo. So is Car- Carmelo. He's he's sitting there waiting Carmelo, by the phone. Carmelo, please, please, guys, make it happen. Give Carmelo a chance. All right. So number one was our gold was Argentina. Silver was Italy, and USA was bronze. Yeah, but who did they lose to? It had to be... Yeah, check the medal round. Get, it's got to be a separate medal round. Are you on Wikipedia? Yeah. Then go, yeah, go. there'll be like a tournament tournament structure breakdown yeah. here. It, it, then it, that means it's got to be Puerto Rico. No, they probably got knocked out. Puerto Rico is in the group. I Puerto, Rico. Puerto Rico. Was Puerto like, Rico was eliminated at the quarterfinal. Yeah, Puerto Rico. They they lost Lithuania was in the final. Okay, they, so they, they probably fourth, lost to... I think. I don't know how this shit works. Wait, how could it... Lithuania didn't get a medal. How could they have been in the final? They were in fourth. Okay. I'll say they would have had to have been in the championship game. Um, it doesn't make so any sense. So they lost to the U.S. in the bronze medal game, is what Lithuania did then. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, this is riveting stuff. Also. Yeah. This is great. I'm sorry. I don't know how this tournament works. That's okay. It's a hard thing to Google. Can I, can I take a look? Yeah. It's I'll a hard I, thing to Google. I don't know how tournaments work. I only know how tournaments I watch work, and... The Olympics, I just like USA's on. I'll watch. So you, who else do they have on we that just gotta team? Gotta go skip all the groups. All right, here we go. Where are we at? Uh, let's get to the real, the real, the real nitty grit here. All okay, right, this is horrible. Real riveting yeah. stuff from <laughs> yeah. us looking up we things should, we on should Google. We need to stop looking up things on Google. <laughs> the USA lost to Argentina, eighty-nine to eighty-one in the semis. Okay, so guys, there every, it is. Every time we do this, if we just listened to me in the first place, we'd, 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 we'd be done. We wouldn't have to do this. Don't believe you. That's you not, guys that's that's not still, a very, don't, still don't believe it. That's that's not can a fun we double? Podcast. Can we double fact check? Would just listen to me. We wouldn't have to look this shit up because I. What makes the podcast fun is our breaks when we Google things. Yeah. It, it helps gives, the listener. To, ooh, take a breath. Take listen, a load off. Let your it, hair down. It gives the listener time to stop listening to us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and go no. Google things on their phone. <laughs> they would probably Google it faster yeah. than us. Which is not for sure. They're sitting there like, come on, you old fucks. Jesus, figure it out. It doesn't help that like, we... I can't read it. I can't. The text is too small. Oh, it's too big. I, now it's too big. It just, I only get two letters. Can we U.S. Just... what? U.S. what? Can't we just hire a guy to look everything up? That's why we need, that's why we need my brother as the guest, because he does it better than we do. Yeah. We, we we really need like a producer guy who's constantly not on the mic, just on the computer, who can look these up. We can pay some nerd or something. We can't, nerd. We can't pay anyone. Are you serious? I'm not getting paid for this. Yeah, what are, who are, it's coming out of your money, then. Give him one of those sticks of RAM, those one gigabyte RAM sticks that I got. <laughs> How over many there. weeks do you think that'll last? Oh. You only got six. <laughs> oh, right out six of the short weeks, order, so. buddy. <laughs> then well, what? First of all, nobody's going to take one gig of RAM. <laughs> also, uh, guys. Put it at a Craigslist. <laughs> one gig of RAM. Everybody's like, no, I don't even want that. I just wanted to make it known um, with, with the recent news coming today out of Dallas Cowboys camp. I also would like my uh, my salary to be forty million dollars a year. Wait, what happened? Dak, Dak Prescott wants forty million a year. That's so fine. he's holding out now. He, he, he rejected a thirty million dollar a year contract. La- when uh, over the offseason, they tried to give him an extension, and he said basically go fly a kite. And they still haven't signed um, Zeke. Zeke, right? They will. They have to. And and AB's done. No, he's back now. Oh, he's back. Yep. Oh, yeah. I missed it. Quick, Sorry. quick NFL update at the Sorry. end here. AB's back. He lost his case, but he was like, "I'm just, I was just kidding. I'm back. Gotcha." <laughs> I thought he just injured himself worse, and he just was kind of trying to cover it with the helmet thing and trying to make it into a big. Deal. He's trying to stall his frostbite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, man, I could play if I wanted to. My feet are fine, but this helmet rule will not stand. I want concussions. <laughs> <laughs> it's not football if I see a double. <laughs> that's, that's the rules. Yeah, that's football rules, man. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, that's. I mean, that's what's going on in the NFL right now. Wow. Uh, what about baseball? Uh, baseball, uh, boy. Did we finish basketball? Do we want to go to other sports? I mean, I think we're pretty much yeah. set, all set, anyways. But we're just talking at this point. Yeah. yeah, yeah why yeah. are you? Why are you rushing? Yeah. Why are you pushing us out the door here? Well, like I'm ready for more sports. I mean, we just do straight basketball. All right. Let's talk about tennis. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Um, I think how about I golf? know Rafael Nadal. Yep. Uh, I was talking women's tennis. Serena Williams. Serena didn't win it. Yeah, she didn't win it. 
So that's she's what, my favorite, though. Yes, yeah. that's she's what I go. know. She's the one I root for. What give me, about give me another sport? WNBA. I I appreciate what they're doing. <laughs> what a, do not watch it. I'm what, sorry. What about lacrosse? Same, same not, thing. Yes, I Again, guess I appreciate I not watched a single lacrosse game ever, not even college. I've All right, World's Strongest Man. Did you watch this year's? <sighs> no, I did not. I'm sorry. That's a little disappointing. I, I watched the one last week with Lou Ferrigno. Wait, wait what? <laughs> yeah, Lou Ferrigno, but he is in the World's Strongest Man. Oh, cup. like way old school. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It wasn't now Lou Ferrigno. I was, no, I was thinking maybe, <laughs> I thought maybe he was like a special guest or something. Yeah, I'm the, just going to lift the back of this truck one time. Is there any sport that lends itself to like a, a, like a Legends Tour worse hey, than World's <laughs> Strongest Man? Hey, that dude who was hosting it, though, just kept lifting things like, oh, yeah, this is easy. He kept making like, it, no, dude, he was Southern. He was like, oh, man, shoot, this is easy. Look at me move this bus. He was basically just making all the World's Strongest Men look like garbage. Because he was like, this shit isn't even hard. I can do it, and I'm an old man. Uh, so you guys do know about the world's strongest man, okay? Yeah. I, I don't know about that Why? one. You don't keep up on the world's strongest no, man? No, no. I can no, give I'm updates, sorry. man. I'll, I'll start at 73 and work my way up. I got football knowledge <laughs> to an extent. I got little baseball knowledge, but there's still a little bit there. I got soccer knowledge, Premier League, and that's it. So, I mean, if there's anything, we're gonna, we got two more divisions to finish off here, but then we're going to... We might bounce around a little bit. Might get a little. Wow. Might, might, might go into a little hey, NFL. I, I think we should do top fifty all time NBA players. Top there, fifty all time. They already did it. I'm just going to copy that list and add some people. Well, that's pretty pretty sad. I don't like that very much at all. Just gonna, just gonna copy the list and add people. That's what I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> all right, all right. Then it, our list has to start at ninety. Ninety. The top ninety players. No, ninety till now. Top. What 50 if we did players. the top twenty five players of the last twenty five years? Okay, that works. Okay, That's good, that, man. Is that, is that a compromise? How about we do... They ju- So what? It's till 94? Till now. If How- they do 94, can they just... What if they were at the end of their run in 94? Jordan still can be one of the greatest players from 94 on. Okay. Because you still get 94, 95, 96. But so. I'm asking about guys like... What if we do... ending their career in the mid-90s. Like, Patrick Ewing was done by what? Like, 99, 2000? Yeah. What if we do like, a starting... I still got him. Okay. What if we make a starting five per decade, like 80s, 90s, 1000s? What should we do? I mean, we should. Throw hey, we should have fans vote on this throw, shit. Throw it out to the people. Yeah, let's. We'll, mm-hmm. we'll slap some of these ideas out there and. Uh, wow. See what the maybe maybe do a poll. Yeah, because we're not going to do football poll. preview. Straw poll. What I want to do the football. All right, preview. we'll do it in one episode. We'll be yeah. like. We took a long time Jaguars. with last year's. Two years ago. Hey, football let's, let's practice yeah. Jaguars. Have anybody? No, listened? thank you. No, <laughs> suck. Have, have we don't know. Uh, have, <laughs> Has anybody listened back? We uh, did a football preview, and we guessed all the teams that were going to make the playoffs and the records. Did anybody listen back to if that? We, were we were we on point? If we asked Tuna or my brother, they would know. They they remind me. They reminded me all the time last year of our. So we got to at least do that again. Yeah, where we do like the record <laughs> predictions. We should go back to our shitty predictions from yep. last year. Ooh, we I don't know if they're shitty. We'll see. But we'll, we'll find see. out. But yeah, yeah, this so, is just a summertime podcast. Exactly. We're wrapping up here in a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and then we go on winter vacation in, in we September. Go on hi- hiatus. Yeah, from September <laughs> through May. That's boring. <laughs> we talk about the NBA, but all we do is preview it. We don't talk about it during the season. During the season. Yeah. Boy, were we wrong. <laughs> We, we hide really for nine months. Really fucked that one up. Yeah, we hide for nine months to duck our predictions. <laughs> we'll never face the music. <laughs> never. <laughs> and then we lure people back in yep. in May. We're like, hey, what's going come on? on back. We're going to go over how bad we were. Talk no, about we don't, we don't talk about how bad we were. No, we just talk about the playoffs. No, but you say in the description that you did. And then we act like we got everything right. First yep. of all, we are, did we listen back to our NBA previews? I think we were on point. Probably close. They, last year's. We're not done with them. Oh. Yeah. No, last year's. I Our NBA previews are pretty good. Our football ones, they're pretty good. Uh, next time we're doing, next time we're doing our NHL ones, I wouldn't be able to name most of the teams. <laughs> I can name the teams. Okay. I cannot name who's good or not. Okay. Are the LA um, Kings? Mm, you got that one. Yeah. Are they still good? Yeah. Sure. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think they've it's been hockey. The yeah, hockey. You never really know yeah. who's going to be that good. Do no, you? year to year. Because Carolina was like the worst team in the league for like the last five years, and they made the conference finals this year. Hey, let's do the hockey. Hockey's wild that hockey way. Hockey preview. We can do a Premier League preview. I'm all in for I that. Mean, we can't do a preview. It started. Can well, I, I mean, it, it's I only s- been one or one <laughs> I game. Know, can I, I sleep through still, it? We can still do it. What? Can I sleep through it? 
Yeah, 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 of course. You, can take oh, you, don't have to, you don't have to drop that week. Yeah. All right, sweet. I get a week off. Yeah, you get a week off. A week Paid away. salary? Well, yeah. you, you got to pick a Premier League team. Uh, Liverpool. Nah, that's Good great. team. Yeah. Good team to pick. Good. I know. <laughs> Pretty solid, yeah. Solid, I know. My solid boys solid won it last year. I'm a Liverpool fan. Big Liverpool guy over here. Yeah, LeBron owns part of Liverpool. They did win the Champions League. Yeah. I know. I'm a champion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what that means. I think we're I think we're done. Um, I, th- I think it's time to go to bed. I mean, I can go on soccer Premier League all day if you guys want to. I don't. We'll save that for another time. Um, okay. Like I said, next week we are going to talk about the Pacific Division, which mm. is the LA teams. Yes. Uh, those 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 rascal Phoenix Suns. Those rascals. Those, those dirty rascals. Uh, what did you say the other day about the Phoenix Suns? Like you wouldn't care who was on their team. You still <laughs> assume they're going to win fifteen games. Yeah, don't give a shit. Like who's they could on get the Le- team. they could get LeBron. They can have <laughs> yeah LeBron, AD, KD. They can just be fucking stacked and Giannis on the team. You still <laughs> think they're going to go twenty and sixty two? Yeah, <laughs> the Suns. <There's>, um, <laughs> doesn't matter who's on the team. And then the uh, they're the, cursed. The, the Kings and the Warriors are. The other, so it's a fun division, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna dunk on the Suns pretty hard next week. No, have we? Not. They're good franchise. We've they're been trying. dunking on the Suns every every show. They have really nice jerseys. Really... Maybe we'll be really nice to them next week. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, is there more shit we can talk about the Suns? We, we can we, we can go there. Yeah. Okay. There's. Yeah. I got to, I got time for it, boys. We, did, we yeah. didn't shit on the Knicks this episode. We like to shit on the Knicks a lot. Fuck the Knicks. No, we're we're in the West though, so the Knicks don't come. Now that we're in the West, we're thinking of the Suns. Yeah, uh, it's true, but I mean, even sometimes there's some. They're, when you some, think of bad Knicks things, West. yeah, they're Knicks West or Suns East. We talked about the Suns all the time in the. Eastern Conference nah, preview. No, I think we talked about the Knicks more. Yeah. Well, every time there's a, a joke to be if made, we, yeah, there exactly. is a brother. Right, what, right. Whatever you need to hold up, like the paradigm of a garbage team, it's one of those two. Yeah. Those are the. Or, I mean, then if you want hell, you pick the Bulls. Yeah. Uh, Fucking Bulls. No Bulls dunking at all this episode, boy. It's kind of disappointed. Yeah, we didn't dunk on the Bulls at all. John gets we, mad. We, we sometimes dunk on the Bucks' future, but we didn't do that. No, nothing. Mm-hmm. Um,. We, I mean, well, we're know, doing that right now by reminding people of all these things. Yeah, we, we didn't do it in an episode. This doesn't feel organic right now. No, you know? no, no so, it doesn't. I, you know what? I'll, to the listener, I apologize. We'll do better next week. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll have to more. Yeah, we'll we'll dunk on. We'll, of course, we're going to dunk on the Suns, but so I'd like, just like to thank everyone for taking the time to listening. Mm-hmm. Uh, as always, please like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Um, get at us in some form. Uh, no guests this week. Just the Jabroni Boys. Uh, so as always, I am AJ First now, joined by at it's your boy Gonzo and Johnny at real George Clooney. Oh, real at real? Is that even is wait? It, Tom Hanks is not. Did you not? Did you lose the Tom Hanks handle? I don't know what you're talking about. I've never been <laughs> at real Tom Hanks. Uh, no. it's always been at real I George like, Clooney. I feel like last week he said it was at real Tom Hanks. I thought he did. I, uh, at Regis Philbin. Yes. <laughs> I guess he has no reason to lie, so... Uh, Why would I lie about that? Yeah. Why would I present my Twitter handle as Pat <laughs> Regis <laughs> Philbin? So, you could probably still get it. If you want to if you wanna, if you find Johnny, uh, please tweet him, at Regis Philbin, and uh, we will, uh, we'll see you next week, you brodies. Later. Later.